Hi everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Solization 5 as Santa Claus. So, let's continue where we left off. I queued up a settler because I want a city closer to Carthage and this is going to be a pretty decent location with snowmen. So what we can do is just build the National College and then settle the city the second National College is done. That's the plan. So that I won't have to build one more library before building the National College. And let's keep exploring this way. I still want to invade this continent somehow. But I'm not quite sure how we're going to do it just yet. We need to explore in this direction. Maybe there's enough space to start a city. We'll see. I'm not quite sure how we're going to do it yet. We'll just send a scout to explore the area. And I think I should buy some of these tiles. This city is about to grow. Yeah, let's just buy this. That's just 35 gold. I'm totally not used to gold values of everything on quick. It seems really weird that buying a tile only costs 35, but yeah, that's quick for you. Alright, let's explore this way a bit. Not much to see here. And not much else to improve. We need to wait for our borders to expand. Alright, fine. Someone built the Petra. Interesting. There's actually desert on this map. Apparently there is. So there's philosophy. And what are we going to research next? Let's have a look. Good question. I could go for compass. If I want to invade someone, I could use a Galias or three. Because that's going to be the easiest way to actually invade this continent. What else? I don't think we really need trapping right now. Well, actually, we are going to need it. Might as well research that then. And, yep, nothing to improve right now. The settler is ready. I'll just get that work about because that's only one turn. Actually, hold on. I lost two turns on National College if I do that. Okay, never mind. We'll get the National College first. And we'll settle a city as soon as National College is done. I also need to work on my economy a bit. But we should be able to sell more luxuries. Actually, no. We will be able to sell more luxuries once we settle the third city. Since the third city will still get two copies of a new unique luxury. Plus and population, nice. Let's check Tyler Sunmans real quick. I'll just log them to make sure he's working the proper tiles. Yep, looks good. Alright, as for research. We don't really need horseback riding because we don't have horses at the moment. And even if I did, I would be using them for reindeer archers and not for horsemen. We don't really need mathematics just yet. Although some catapults against Carthage would be useful. I think we should just go for construction to unlock composite bowmen. Yep. We don't have horses right now, so yeah. And I can't actually buy horses from anyone. I'm hoping to find someone we'll be able to buy horses from, since I can't actually recruit my unique unit without horses. So that's a bit of a problem, but that's a side effect of our start bias on snow terrain. Didn't really expect a lot of horses around here. So where is this city going to be exactly? It should be on this side, I think. I could even start like this, but that's a little bit too aggressive. I won't get the fish, but I can get the whales. So over here probably? Or over here? Doesn't really make a big difference, honestly. These are both fine. Closer to Carthage would perhaps help a little bit more, since we will be declaring war on Carthage. They probably won't like this city. I know as much. That's to be expected. And we can start the road already. We're not starting the actual city yet because we need five more turns to finish National College. But I'm just getting ready. We can get the road done. Medieval era for Carthage. Interesting. Alright, let's keep exploring this way. We might still find some more city-states. And continue the road. I will lose a little bit of gold from maintenance, but that's fine. It's not going to last very long. Our scout is almost there. We'll have to piss off the city-state a bit. But that's fine. Oracle? Can we go west? No, we cannot. 
And two more road sections. And that's that. I love building roads instantly. It's so weird. Alright, disembark. Oh, natural wonder. Oh, that's a pretty good one, too. Well, maybe not that good, but it's better than some of the other ones. I could actually capture this city-state. We'll see. For now, that seems to be the easiest way to invade that continent. Just capture a city-state. I think that's the best way. And that's probably what we'll end up doing. Unless I find a good location for an actual city. My own city. But so far that seems rather unlikely. And I like this location. I like the idea of having that wonder. It's not the best national wonder ever, but it's pretty good. One more turn for National College. And yet another city-state. There are a lot of city-states over here. And they are taking the space. So, research. Let's go for compass. A Gallias or two would be useful. I think. Maybe. Well, we're going for education anyway, so that means we need theology regardless. We'll just go for theology and then we can decide whether to go for compass already or delay it a little bit. So, we can't explore through here anymore. It's time to go back. And we got a new policy. That's going to be... Yeah, representation. And we can start that city. The National College is done. There. Carthage definitely won't like this city. But I don't care about their opinion. We'll get some snow ban right away. And we got a workboat. We can hook up the whales. Not that we really need them with this much happiness. So, lighthouse. Only one tile that will benefit from it, but we got one more that's not currently inside our borders. Lighthouse. We should have enough money to just buy that tile. The snowman needs two turns. And monument. Next. So our next target is Love going to be Carthage. We should sell one luxury. Six gold per turn with Shaka. I suppose that's fine. No open borders for you, no. Otike should be fairly easy to take. We can just attack it from the northeast and northwest. We can attack it from most of these tiles, just not this one. Should be easy enough. But I'll probably need some catapults, we'll see. I'll need more units than this, that's for sure. So how expensive is the upgrade on quick? 55 gold, alright, that's fine, I suppose. And I should probably build the barracks. Especially since I'm using the promotions expansion mod. We got a spy. Who do we want to spy on? Oh, Carthage has the biggest city. Okay, we can spy on Carthage. Why not? There's the workboat. So hook that up. And you will have to go back. Alright, the snowman is done. Just lock that tile. Plus one population in Elf Town. Let's work the whales instead. Although we'll miss out on one hammer. Now, a few more. The snowman is way better than the mines. <laughs> yeah, the snowman is pretty overpowered, but that's kind of the intention of this sieve. It's supposed to be overpowered. Yeah, there's not enough space around here to start our own city. I'll actually have to capture a city, either from the Mongols or just capture a city-state. I think I'll capture the city-state with the wonder. It looks very tempting. If we get lucky, we might be able to steal compass from Carthage. That's not impossible. We have to wait a little bit longer. Three more turns to finish theology. Yeah, I think that might work. We'll see. So, barracks, and then we should start some units. What do we want? Well, if I want catapults, I should research mathematics. So, we'll do exactly that. In fact, let's research mathematics first. We aren't going to steal anything in three turns. 
We are just establishing surveillance at the moment. And we'll get some composite bombing. Alright, sounds good. As for you, keep exploring. We need to find more sieves. We only made contact with three so far. Do we want to continue that trade? Sure, we aren't declaring war just yet. And we can always get some money from them. Let's keep exploring this way. Nope, I can't get open borders from the Mongols. And all the improvements are already done. <laughs> well, that was quick. We need to wait for the borders to expand. Plus one pop. Yep. Alright. You know what would be nice? Upgrading that warrior. But that's not going to happen without iron. And we don't have any. Unfortunately. Carthage does. And they also have horses. But I'll have to take three cities to actually get the horses. Which should be doable. We will have enough happiness. That's probably the easiest way to get horses. Unfortunately, it's not a lot of horses. Are there city states down here with horses? No, just with iron. Okay. Well, that's only two iron. That's unfortunate. Oh well, yeah, getting horses in this game seems to be harder than I thought it will be. It really is. But we'll deal with it. Yeah, sure, I suppose we can go for that deal. It won't last very long. How's our declaration of friendship? 20 more turns. Well, I don't really want to break that. But 20 turns. Here's another city-state. I suppose that gives me time to build up my army. Alright, let's just unlock skill level 2 right away. That's more experience and it will give us access to better skills. Writer's Guild or not yet. We will be able to use that soon, yeah. It's only 3 turns, so let's get that. Nothing else we can improve, we just have to wait. Yep, that's pretty much it. How many turns do we need? 20 turns to steal something. Okay, that's a little bit too much. And yes, Carthage is plotting against us. Not exactly surprising. That's what they do most of the time. I would be surprised if she wasn't plotting against me at this point. Alright. Well, let's just build up an army. We can get a composite bowman here. I wouldn't mind another melee unit, perhaps. And catapults. After the Writer's Guild. As for research, compass. We should be able to use a Galias or two against Carthage itself. What else can we do? Not much point researching our own working right now or horseback riding. I won't be able to recruit these units anyway. But it might be a good idea to go for civil service first. To get pikemen. Because I'm not quite sure what units Carthage has access to. They are at 21 techs. I don't think they have many more units more advanced than mine. But they do have iron, so they might have swordsmen. As for this city... I think we'll be fine without city walls. Let's just get a library. Alright, next. It's a shame we don't have at least one Aaron, because then I could upgrade that silly warrior. But oh well. Oh, here's a war. Interesting, the Mongols declared war on Carthage, really? And they are actually attacking the city. I did not expect that. I don't think they will take it. Okay, Carthage has horsemen and pikemen. I would like to get pikemen then, yeah. We got time, I suppose we'll do that. But I didn't expect the Mongols to attack them. Plus one pop. These cities will grow very quickly with the snowmen. If I really wanted to, I could start a city around here and grab that iron. Maybe I should. It would be kind of risky. I should be able to take this city without 
swordsman though. I don't think we'll need that. We should be fine, yeah. The Mongols have a lot of units around here, but I still don't think they will be able to capture that city. AI is just not good enough at these kinds of attacks. Oh, I should probably get a snowman here and not an actual camp. Yeah, the snowman will be much better. We will miss out on one production, but we'll gain free food. Research argument? I don't necessarily want that. Not really. No, I don't want that. I want your city. The Mongols want the creation of friendship. No. I'm not really interested in that. The Mongols are usually hated by everyone. Or by almost everyone. So it's typically a poor idea to get the creation of friendship with them. Hmm. I need to make contact with more AIs. I really do. Which is why we're exploring. Elf Town. Granary. Build more units. Barracks. I wouldn't mind a heroic epic in a reasonable future. I normally don't build it either at all or until much later, but I really should. So we will build it this time. How many catapults do we want against this? As many as we can build in the time that we have. We got 15 turns. We can build a pretty reasonable army in that time. Or at least it should be more than enough. We'll send all these units west, might as well do it. It's not like they have anything better to do here. We are about to get a religion apparently from Carthage. Two religions can still be founded, but it's unlikely we'll get our own religion. And we can't go through here anymore. I can always get open borders, I suppose. Another snowman to the north. Alright. So next. And here's another wonder. How many wonders did Carthage actually build? Only three. But hey, I'll take them off your hands. Always extra yields and more tourism in the future. Nothing to improve right now. We are improving tiles faster than we are gaining them, which is pretty funny. Alright, more catapults. Some of these are probably going to be throwaway catapults or whatever. But that's fine, I suppose. So I can't get open borders just yet. I need to wait. Next. Has the most advanced AI? 24 techs. At least the most advanced I know of. Where are other AIs hiding? Probably on a different continent or something like that. I don't know. Who has the strongest army? Someone I didn't make contact with. Alright then. That could be Brom, perhaps. Could be anyone, really. And that's that. One more turn, then we can get open borders with the Mongols. And explore to the east. Hopefully we'll find more AIs that way. So, open borders. That should be one gold per turn. He won't sell open borders. Two gold per turn. That wasn't necessarily worth it, but whatever, we got it. It's mostly because I didn't really want to get rid of that trade room just yet. We can use it for more exploration. Let's get compass then. Or we could just go for education first. I think education can wait. I'm focusing on military right now anyway. So we'll get compass. That will unlock the Galias. And another trade route. Speaking of trade routes, I should probably get a cargo ship. Can we just buy one? No, that's 360 gold. A little bit too much. Can we sell a luxury? Nope, we are selling everything. Alright. Carthage would probably get suspicious soon. I know I would. Nothing interesting this way. Just more Mongol cities. Skill level 2. And one more catapult. This is probably good enough already. But you know, just to make sure. We'll get one more catapult. And we can get another composite moment or something. 
That's six turns. That's probably not going to be fast enough. Let's just grab that cargo ship. Sounds good to me. Is anyone sending trade routes to us? Yeah, Carthage. Fine by me. Christmas village. Can we get another unit? 12 turns for a pikeman, that's a little bit too much. I think we should just focus on buildings now. So shrine. We don't really need walls all that much. Our army should be good enough at this point. And we can finish liberty. Nice. So. I could actually go for the manufactory. Because one of the problems we'll have is production with all these snowmen. I'll probably end up replacing some of the snowmen with mines once the cities grow to high enough population. A scientist is objectively the best choice here, I think, but I'm almost considering an engineer. Still, scientist is the best choice, but which tile are we going to use him on? Probably on one of these Tundra tiles. Because snow has zero food. On the other hand, our national college is in Santa's workshop. I'll just end up having to work a tile with zero food, I guess. But that's not very different for a manufactory. That's also going to be a tile with zero food. In theory, I could also grab a prophet and start a religion, but I don't think it's worth it. I prefer the scientists, I just do. So there it is. And we'll grab an academy right there. And that's that. I'm just moving closer with all these units. How many more turns? Let's see. Nine more turns. Yeah, we'll have a pretty reasonable army by that time. I could just backstab them, but I'd rather not. So, Writer's Guild. And lock the academy. The rest looks fine to me. Yep, looks good. We are running out of tiles to work. I need more specialist slots in here. Our economy isn't looking too great. Let's get a market. Or I could just get one more catapult. Yeah, one more catapult and then we'll get the market. This should be enough catapults, maybe even too many. But I can't get my unique unit, so it will have to be catapults. In this case, you guys are going to be unemployed for a bit. Sorry. <laughs> I seriously want to meet more AIs though. I'm hoping to meet someone who will have horses for a trade. I'm surprised there aren't more horses around here. It's strange, but alright. Let's not move too close. Just a little bit closer. That warrior is going to be useless against Carthage. He will just die, so we'll keep him as a garrison. More snowmen, and let's go meet some more AIs. We got another city-state. That's fine. Do we want to go north or south? Doesn't really matter. Let's go southeast because Shaka is northeast-ish. So this way. And another plus one population. Let's have a look. Not much to see here. All these tiles are worth exactly the same yields. You will chill in Santa's workshop. Five more turns to finish education. Is Carthage still at war? Yeah, they are still at war with the Mongols. But as I thought, the Mongols were not able to take a city. Still, this is quite a few units. Here's another catapult. So we got four catapults and three composite bowmen. This is definitely enough to take the city. We might lose a catapult or two on the way. Because catapults are just not that good. And they die very easily. But that's fine. How many more turns? Five more turns. I'm itching to declare war already. But it wouldn't make any sense to backstab Carthage at this point. When the declaration of friendship is literally about to expire in a few turns. We'll wait. 
it's not a big deal. More snowmen. I can position my units a little bit better while we wait. So just move these. I want to attack with all the catapults at the same time if possible. So we'll position ourselves in a way that will allow us to do exactly that. I hope they won't get too suspicious, because this already looks pretty damn suspicious to me. It really does. And what's next? We don't really need a lighthouse in here. But I wouldn't mind a Galias or two. What is it? Oh yeah, I saw it. 11 turns though. That's a bit too much. Let's grab an amphitheater. Right, we don't have a single amphitheater because we didn't go tradition. Yep, we'll need one. Well, more than one, but... We'll need one before we get our first great writer, which in fact is going to happen in four turns. We'll just swap it with the market, that's fine. And now we just wait. I know that's not super exciting, but as I said, it wouldn't make any sense to backstab Carthage now, when the Declaration of Friendship is about to expire. Education is almost done. So swap these guys, we'll just go all in with these catapults. That's pretty much the plan. Buy these tiles, that's fine. And yeah, build the snowman. There's the cargo ship, what's our best trade route right now? 10 gold per 10, but I don't want a trade route with Carthage. Would this trade route be safe? Elf Town. It should be safe-ish, sort of. It's a little bit close to Carthage. I could just trade with one of the city-states. I can get influence with the militaristic city-state. Yeah, let's do that. Which unit are they specialized in? Oh, that's not very useful for me right now. But still, being friendly means useful. Elf Town. We need a few basic buildings in here. Shrine, granary, and then we'll see. Lock some better tiles. Actually, we can't. We have an unemployed citizen. Yeah, it's time to buy more tiles. Like this. The city is still growing rapidly. And another natural wonder. That's actually a pretty good one. Rock of Gibraltar. And the Shaka has it. Not sure if I like that too much. Where the heck are other AIs hiding? Seriously? I really hoped to find more by now, but apparently not. So, education is done. Now we can go... Well, I could just go for Renaissance era. Eight turns. We'll need to pick a new policy in eight turns. Which means I can enter Renaissance era before that happens. However, I'm going to make a cut here and continue in the next episode. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.